Hey everybody! Last time, we looked at some mid-game tips on keeping your momentum going in Slither.io. Today, we're going to finish up these Slither tip videos by looking at some late-game tips to help you finally clinch that spot at the top of the food chain. So let's get started. As you get bigger, don't forget that bigger snakes cruise faster. Sprinting is pretty close to the same. I haven't figured out a difference there yet. But as for your standard speed, bigger snakes run faster. So you can outrun those little snakes. And also, as your small snake, you're going to have to sprint if you want to catch up with a big snake, because if you just go your regular speed, they will outrun you. Also, as you're a bigger snake and you start to coil other snakes, as you start to loop around them, your coil tightens as your body goes. You think of a, a snake in nature, it doesn't stay static exactly where the trail where the body falls. As you notice, the body, the curl, the loop coil tightens as you move forward. So you can loop around someone a few times and if you are long enough, your body will naturally tighten enough and you can watch for other people while that person inside is dying. Also, as you get bigger, don't play the short game, play the long game. As you're bigger, you are less maneuverable and you need to use your looping more. Let others eat the food if you can get them afterwards because if they eat the food and then you eat them, you get it in the end. Don't play the short game when you are big. Use your food as bait. If someone thinks you're going to just pass up some leftovers, they may just turn them back around to get them. And if you're making a longer loop, they can fall right into your coil. I've trapped four to five enemies at once this way, been able to coil around them. They eat each other, but all the time I'm getting smaller and smaller around them. And ultimately, I get all of their leftovers. When you're big, try making vase-shaped loops with a large bottom and then a smaller neck. Prey sometimes don't realize that you're on both sides of them until it's too late. And watch for coiled enemies eating leftovers. You can often coil them while they are coiled. If they're trying to trap someone, you may be able to trap them if they're distracted and not paying attention. But don't let that happen to you. And finally, Get used to slithering back over yourself regularly. When you're big, it's a must for survival. If you are not used to slithering back on yourself, if you're afraid to do that, you will die. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment and a like below, or even subscribe to see what else I'm up to on this channel. If you haven't seen the other videos in this series, why not take just a few minutes to do that by clicking on that link right there on your screen, or even check the description for more. And if you liked this series, you're sure to like some of the other things I do on this channel. Just click below to go to my channel here on YouTube, or check the description to connect with me on social media. The choice is yours, but whatever you do, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!